What is going on guys? RNG Studios here, back here with another video, probably going to be my favorite video that I've ever made right here, and today we have my first ever CAC doll. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so first, I'm going to, before we do an in-depth video, or in-depth part of it, I'm going to show you all what I got. So, up here at the top, I got a Admiral Thrawn figure, probably going to be super, super cool. I really do like him. We got a 501st Lieutenant helmet. A airborne trooper, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I can't remember. We got two arc, arc antennas, both black. Um, that's all what I bought. Oh, and a little pet from Thrawn and a scout trooper from Thrawn. Going back here. And then we have all the weapons from the two grab bags I got. I both got one grab. The number one grab bag, I got two of them. So I got the two crossbow blasters, or Chewbacca's blaster, basically. Um, crossbow. We have both are pink on each side. I'm just putting them on each side. We got two commando and side armor um, blasters on here, and then we got two DC 15s. Two both are silver. They're really cool. I'll do more in depth. Then we got two commando blast or um, snipers. Both are silver. Then we in the middle we have this mortar. This is just three dollars. And then we have these two flamethrowers. We have one pink E11 and one gold E11. I really like the gold one. And then we have two scuba advanced blasters. One right here. And one right here. And then in the middle we have a droid blaster. You used to know from, from the Separatist. And that's really all f for the end. Um, for you know this right here. So we're going to go to um, in-depth. Starting with Thrawn. And here is the Admiral Thrawn figure. Now, it is just amazing. Amazing, I say. It is really cool. Way ac more accurate than Legos, which is... It's good, but it's not the best. You know, it, you could consider... It kind of looks like a knockoff, like... From, like, Space... Or Space Avengers or something. Like, some fake movie. But I don't know where that came from. But, yeah, um... Um, he has the... He has a nice little, you know gold talus or pauldron i don't know what it's called talus i think it's what it's called it's you know pirates in admirals grand admirals use of course okay starting off with the face print right here he he it's not really accurate i would probably use legos which is kind of more accurate but at the same time it is really cool um it has a black hair piece which is actually supposed to be this kind of blue like legos but i'm pretty sure due to some copyright issues they couldn't do that yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a second um, second face, but unfortunately, but that's really cool. But the face print is still good. This may not be the best. I don't really like it, but I will still use it somehow. But yeah, nice gold talus, nice torso printing right here. Accurate to the actual rankings in Admiral Thrawn, unlike Legos. I'm probably going to do a comparison on this soon. But yeah, nice little, you know, arms are cool. Or just regular white arms, but go down to the belt. That's really, really cool. The belt is super cool, nice, accurate. You can see the lines and stuff. And then you have the dual molded black piece, um, black boots on the figure, unlike Legos, which are just white. And the rankings are correct, I believe. If let me get my other book out. Yes, the rankings. Wait, no, not this one. Yeah, the rankings are correct. If you guys see from my book. It's, it's just no cut off, but it is accurate. Um, so yeah, that's another good thing about this figure. It has such good detail and stuff in it. I really do like it. Super cool. Um, I'm glad I got this because I did see it was a limited time offer. And you can see more back, some back printing. It was a limited, limited time offer or limited time figure. So I did grab it as soon as I could. Because I saw that, and plus, you know, I'm trying to get more on Admiral Thrawn, and I kind of want to add him, if I correct, to canon that he's still alive, and in the army not lost in the Space Whales with Ezra, in my stop motion series, but yeah. Or, you know, just do a little separate stop motion on him, that would be cool. But yeah, nice, really nice um, figure, nice back printing too, I didn't notice that before, but yeah. Really cool. My first really real interaction besides opening it, which I probably should have gotten on camera, but I didn't. But yeah, it's super cool. I do like that. Let's move on to the helmets. 
Okay, and here is Amarothron's um, mouse hit with his mouse. So or pet, basically. It's basically a brown mold of a mouse. He has a nice long tail, kind of tail. Um, he's brown, of course. I don't know if he has a name yet or anything, but... I still have to read the Admiral Thrawn books, but... Yeah, he's cool. Nice. Um, here he is. Like, he has two holes in the middle, or underneath his body, and he has, you know, kind of like... You can see, like, the indents for his eyes and stuff. If it's going to focus, if it will focus for me. Okay, it's not going to focus for me, but you have to believe me. There's two little indents, if you could see right here. There's two little indents and, you know, like, it's kind of legs and stuff right here. That's really cool. Now let's go on to these two right here and then the weapons. And here we have the P2 plane jet helmet, which is super cool. Put it on Captain Ender's body for what I'm using him for. Now, I really didn't need this figure. You may be like, why? Why'd you spend the $4 on Captain Ender? He's not, you know, you don't need him unless you're just adding him for your collection. One, I am adding him to my collection. Two, he's in uh, Peter the Stormtrooper. Fun fact, yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. But yeah, super cool, nice red visor kind of, you know, for the plating. Really cool, nice, the lines, detail. I like, it's a really good f helmet. I will say that. It's a good helmet. Um, I like its printing all around back. You can see that in the background, or I'll just pull this. See, the one thing about CAC, these, yeah, these, the helmet, their head gets stuck in the helmet. I, I've really, I've been realizing that. But this is the old Captain Ender helmet, and it's not really accurate. So I'm glad I, I was gonna film that scene or a couple the scenes with him in it. But I'm glad I held out on it. And I do get two arc antennas, so I will put one on him. And, right, okay, let me take that one off. Uh, stupid helmets. Yeah. That's, that's, um, plus I'll do the arc antenna, um, thing. It is cool. It's really loose, though. Kind of, it's really loose. Well, when you bend it down, it's not loose. But, like, if it's right here, it's not loose. But if you pull it down, it's really loose and stuff. So, I will have to be careful with that. I'll probably be keeping keeping them in these this plastic bag. But yeah, that's Captain Ender, um, his helmet. Or the P2 plane jet helmet. So, let's go on to the 501st Lieutenant's helmet. And here is the 501st P2 Lieutenant's it is helmet. It is super cool. I probably will be getting the 327th P2 Sniper. Because I do want him. And plus, it's Slip Third's body piece. So, that's yeah, really cool. Nice, you know, like, you know, knife-looking markings on it. You can see earlier, when I first got, you know, I kind of tried to make him on a P2 helmet. Or P1 helmet. Like, custom. Wasn't really accurate. I like the little, you know, triangles. If my camera will focus, please. Okay, it's not going to focus, but, yeah. Super cool, like, the diet... Like the triangles pointing up and stuff, horrible back printing. This is like a underview. It's kind of like candy stripes, red and white stripes. But yeah, that's cool. But blue, really do like it. I'm probably gonna get um the first um or three twenty seventh P two sniper because I do want him. He's super cool. But yeah, um, that's Slipped Throat's helmet or the five first lieutenant helmet. Of course, I had to get him. Of course, he was going to be the first helmet I got. I would have gotten the his him his complete body, but you know, gotta get how to get Admiral Thrawn here. You know, just in because so, I saw it was a little bit of time. Of course, he saw said, I said that earlier in the video. But yeah, um, that's him. Let's go on to the next person or next thing. Okay, and here was the first weapon. We have a. Crossbow blaster, it's cool. You know, it's in pink, and I'll, I surprisingly only got four pink weapons. The rest were either black or silver and one gold. But that's cool. It's cool mold and stuff. You know, I probably won't need. I probably won't use this for anything unless it's like a pirate. And I doubt that a pirate will have a pink weapon. But yeah, um, Chewbacca wearing, holding his pink um crossbow blaster. That's cool. You can see a little scope right there. You know, a little. Wedges for the crossbow, but that's cool. 
Not my favorite. Pff, definitely not my favorite weapon, but let's go on to the next weapon. And here is the scout pistol, which is probably preferably used by a scout trooper. If you don't know what a scout trooper is, watch the original trilogy. Or literally watch, like, read any comic book that's during the Empire. Just look it up on the Wikipedia. But if you, you probably know what a scout trooper is. Or, But yeah, this is his the scout trooper pistol that came with Admiral Thrawn. Cool little, it's cool and stuff. Um, nice little indents, nice molding, I do like it. Um, here's a little thing of it right here and right here. But yeah, that's the scout troop, um, scout, scout pistol. Um, it's cool mold, I, it's Admiral Thrawn's choice of weapon, or weapon of choice, I'm pretty sure, blaster of choice. I think he's like the first blaster we see him use in Rebels, like when... Sabine and Ezra steal the TIE Defender, spoilers, from Rebels. This is the blaster you see him shooting with at the TIE Fighter. But yeah, that's the Scout Trooper blaster. And the next weapon here is a Commando anti-armor pistol. You can see the little anti-armor thing right here. I'm pretty sure that little circular thing, or like, you know, right there isn't supposed to be, isn't on the regular Commando blaster, but yeah. That is really cool. Um, you can, I do have clones, or clones will be in the series, so, spoil, another spoiler alert, but yeah, clones will be in the series, and you'll, you'll probably be using these, but that's super cool, I really do like these, um, but yeah, this, there, I have two of these, actually, I, I have two of the cross, pink crossbow blasters from CSE2, from the grab bag, I only have one scout trooper, pistol scout pistol but yeah commando pistol commando anti-armor pistol really cool i like it the next thing we have right here is two silver dc-15s they're super cool um if you don't know what a dc-15 is it's basically the you know the basic weapon for a clone trooper um it's so it's usually black but i got the silver ones cool mold i do like it um i actually really do like it I want to get more some black ones and stuff, but I'll probably use this for now until I get enough money to buy my next CAC figure, and I'll order some other stuff from there too. But yeah, super cool mold, um, nice painting and everything. But yeah, that's this weapon. The next weapon we move on to. Yes, I sound like Master Yoda from that. Wow, that's a little zoom out on it. And the next weapon we have here is the Commando Sniper, and boy, oh boy, this boy oh, is looking fresh. I like this sniper, like, you can, it's super cool, it's in silver, I have two of these, and both in silver, from the My Mag, of course, but it's super cool, you can get some, like, cool shots from, like, from clones, you know, shooting, or sniper, or Sev, if you ever get a Sev, I'm pretty sure he's the sniper. Commando Squad, but it's super cool. I do like this. And fun fact, you can actually remove this part if I can do it. Voila! You can remove this part and have it just be on its own. Or when you're for a stand, you can, you know, put it on it like a tripod, basically. Put it back on. That's super cool. I can't really put it back on right now. But yeah, that's super cool. I do like this. Um, I really do like this. I will be ordering from this website from now on. Of course, um, if I there's no new sets out, I will be ordering from this website again, hopefully, because I love this so far. But yeah, that's the um, that's this um, commando sniper. Let's move on to the next weapon again. So many weapons to go through. Golly. Next weapon we have up here is the E11, which E11 is basically the standard stormtrooper blaster, basically. I think that I'm pretty sure this is E11. Yeah, that's E11. E11, um, basic, this is basic st Stormtrooper Blaster. I have a pink one, and I also have a nice-looking, smooth, cool chrome gold one, if I'll put it on here. That's super cool. I like the gold one. Um, chrome gold, super cool. Um, I want another one of these, just because. kind of wish I got it in the um, DC-15, but that's cool. Two of these, or two E11s. Both different colors. That's super cool. We're almost done. We have like two more. Or like three more weapons to do. 
So yeah, it's super cool, E11s, nice and stuff. But yeah, that's that's next figure move on or next weapon we move on to. Yes, I keep sounding like Yoda. I don't know why. Hmm. And the next weapon we have is a flame thrower. Yes, a flame thrower. I have two of these, of course. Um, I use this Hoth Trooper. It's basically the same thing as a Flame Trooper, but yeah, it's super cool. Um, I do like it. I really want to use this now, and I, I this is what I was using before for a Flame Thrower. That's what I was going to use, and it's crappy, so we're going to use this from now on. And yes, I threw that away. It's super cool. Um, nice detailing and stuff. I have two of these, like I said, and... Yeah, that's really it for this one. I don't want to drag this video out for any longer. So we're going to go on to the next one, which is um, a scuba advanced blaster. Basically what the scuba troopers in the Mon Calamari, like the first few episodes of season four of the Clone Wars. This is what they used, the blasters that the clones used in the water. But yeah, that's cool. I probably can't really see it because my fingers are in the way. But yeah, that's angle, that's an angle, and then that's an angle, and that's kind of a back angle, and there's a front angle. But yeah, that's, that's, now the last thing we have is a mortar, so, yes, a mortar, I made, fun fact, I made three, $12 back from these blind bags, they cost 4 I made $8 back, so, yeah, that's cool, but the next, last one is we have a mortar. This is worth $3, super cool, you can pull, you can take this off, I'm pretty sure, but, uh, hold on, yeah, let me do it real quick, you can take this part off, which is the tripod, tripod basically, and then you can take this, this stand off right here, pretty sure, I don't want to break this, so, oh yeah, you can, okay, I just didn't want to make sure, and then now it kind of looks like, you know, you can probably attach this to a ship and stuff, you know, and that's cool, um, little dent right here, I don't think that's supposed to be right there, but yeah, that's cool, try, um, mortar, I don't, I, from watching all the Star Wars, like, all the Clone Wars show, all the Star Wars TV shows, except for Resistance, I've never seen a mortar in Star Wars, and that's super, super cool, I've never seen anyone use a mortar in Star Wars, I ne I've never seen it, but, probably gonna bash me in the comments but yeah that's super cool I do like that but yeah that's the last weapon we have so let's go on to the outro okay while well, I was sitting for the outro I forgot I forgot I had one more weapon to do I'm so so such an amateur but yeah I have one more weapon to do and that is these um droid blaster basically the standard blaster used by the droid army uh, you can see my custom T my really crappy custom TX 1000 here Holding it, it's pink. Um, I surprisingly only got four pink weapons. I know usually when you get a blind bag, they're all pink, but that's super cool. You rarely get any cool weapons, but or weapons that aren't pink, but that's cool. Um, still, like I said, I won't be using this probably, <laughs> but yeah, that's cool. Um, I like it, so yeah, let's go to the outro because I forgot to do I forgot I, I had this weapon, so yeah outro time okay and here is a last little glance at all the cac stuff that i got i got another antenna in here because because i didn't want to lose it so i put in there in case i do lose this one so you got to be smart you know that's all the weapons in the back right here but yeah that was i did i did love i love all the cac that i got for the first time getting cac i can say you should buy some if you have the money but if you just want to stick to Sure, you have Lego. I would say the Lego Admiral Thrawn isn't that bad, but if you want to be accurate, buy the CAC one. If you know, if you want more accurate weapons, figures, and stuff like that for your stop motions or just your collection in general, or like a mock, buy CAC. I would really recommend it. They have also have Halo. Um, by the way, it's not sponsored. They have Halo. Um, they have Halo. They have some Iron Man stuff, but yeah. They, have, they don't just have Star Wars, but yeah, they have Mandalorians and a bunch of other stuff. They don't have just Star Wars, but most of their stuff is Star Wars and Clone Wars related. That's super cool. Um, 
But yeah, that's my CAC haul, my first ever CAC haul. Combination plus everything plus shipping was $43, but we did make a $12 profit, or we made $12 back with all the weapons. So yeah, that's cool. Um, I will probably be ordering, my next figure will probably be um, the P2 327th Trooper or Sniper. Because I need to get that Swift Throat's body piece. And plus it comes with all the, you know, attachments that I need for Swift Throat. So, that's cool. That's, um, my f ever, first ever CAC haul. And first ever figure and helmets and weapons. I just, I'm wow. This is just amazing. I want to, I will say, um, update on Peter. New episode will be coming out in next Maybe next two, not next two, in two, two weeks, hopefully. Two weeks if I'm done with it. Maybe a couple days after, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe, slap that bell, turn on notifications. Comment down below what was your favorite part or thing from the CAC haul. I'm RT Studios, and goodbye.